members of the media, fellow Guyanese, good morning. This morning, I wish to address <clears throat> issues surrounding a video in circulation in relation to uh, our High Commissioner in India, Mr. Charan Das. Sometime during the course of yesterday, some members of the media <clears throat> sent to me via WhatsApp a video that, is, that was in circulation. As you are aware, yesterday I had a series of meetings at the Charlie Jagan International Airport with the African Exim Bank, investors, and Prime Minister Motley. <clears throat> so during the course of yesterday, I did not have the opportunity to review any video. Last night, after reviewing the video, I called High Commissioner Charandas. During our, our conversation, he related to me that this is an incident that occurred sometime in August last, last year. And the video is not a full reflection of what took place. For a matter of fact, he informed me that the video was not complete in demonstrating exactly what took place. Notwithstanding this, I explained to Mr. Charndas that representatives of our country must, on all occasions, on every occasion, conduct themselves in the highest order and regard. Mr. Charndas then communicated to me that this matter was dealt with by the relevant agencies and authorities in India, <clears throat> and that there was no evidence of any misconduct, and for a matter of fact, <clears throat> he was cleared of any accusation of sexual harassment. He also shared with me a letter that substantiated this statement. Notwithstanding all of this, Mr. Charnas agreed with me that in keeping with the best interests of Guyana and the image of Guyana, that he would return home from his posting in India. I want to assure all Guyanese that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Government of Ghana would continue to work every day to strengthen our relationships, the relationship not only with India, but with every other partner across the globe. Mr. Charandas has agreed that take full responsibility for his action and will return home from this posting, as I would have said. We are therefore going to take all official steps and measures to ensure a smooth transition and to continue to strengthen our work with India and to work on advancing the cause of Guyana in every capital. Thank you.